Hey guys, Silence Sailor here. Welcome to an unboxing video of the Digimon Ghost Game Vital Bracelet. So if you guys missed out on the unboxing video that I did um, with all the various stuff that I usually buy for myself, you can check out that video. The link's in the description down below um, where I actually took out this, uh, this baby from the package that the seller came, uh, gave gave it to me with uh, it also had some fascinating uh, pretty nice fan art stickers as well so thank you to the seller for being such a kind person and giving me extra stuff aside from the stuff that I ordered so yes we're gonna unbox this Digivice um, that is for the ghost game series I explained a bit of it in the unboxing video itself so I won't do that here um, so yeah let's take a look is, is this a viable um, Digivice to still buy within 2022 because this was actually released back in 2021 if I'm not wrong. The original Vital Bracelet was released I think in 2020 so it's technically been two years uh, since the Vital Bracelet was first introduced into the market of course this is the superior version of the Vital Bracelet which is the Digivice V version um, and of course, Gamamon is the featured Digimon, unlike the very first Vital Bracelet which, which came with Pulsemon. Um, then of course, I had to buy this as well, which are the two additional Demon cards uh, for Angoramon and Jellymon Sama. If you guys have watched the Digimon Ghost Game TV series, you probably know why I had to pick this up as well. Because there's really no reason to like have the main uh, Digimon around without the two partners. Uh, alongside this <laughs> vital bracelet so let's pop this open and let's take a look at what it comes with so i'm just gonna let me see oh oh the box is actually open that's interesting okay so let's pop this open check hmm. all right so first things first we have the dim card in front and of course in the back we have the charging cable for the vital bracelet so it does use that standard type um, connection USB-C uh, No, not USB-C um, I can't remember what the cables heads are called But anyways, these are like, like the standard Android phone um, You know, cables So if you've probably got this kind of cables around Which are much longer, you probably could use it as well So there's really no reason for me to use that Alright, and of course we have Gamamon's dim card there as, as you can tell it's not in the same package as this thing but there is a Gamamon dim card um, package like this one um, that is sold separately unlike the Pulsemon <laughs> uh, dim card that was only exclusive to the very first vital bracelet so I'm just gonna put the box here so that's kind of sad so yeah the, if you guys have actually bought the very first vital bracelet you guys have the exclusive um, dim card for you know Pulsemon so yeah so as you can tell it's a pretty flimsy plastic uh, I guess people probably want to collect all these dim card cards um, aside from the memory sticks that they come with then of course oh there's this what's this there's a versus memory what in the world so I'm pretty new to the vital bracelet scene as you can tell so I have no idea what this versus memory is all about um, then of course we have the watch itself uh, I do know for a fact that the vital bracelet might be a bit tight for plus size people like me so the, the strap itself it looks a bit tiny and my, my wrist is huge <laughs> so let's see let's pop this open uh, I'm just gonna try and attempt to put it on oh apparently oh it's actually possible for me to wear this strap oh my goodness it's just that it might be on this final hole let's see yeah yeah oh wow i can actually still put it on so even even though i'm a kind of a big size fella uh <laughs> apparently the vital bracelet still fits me so that's that's pretty cool okay so all right so let's let's pull out everything first um versus memory i i don't know let's see okay all right so that's pretty much all it came with i'm just gonna put this aside all right 
So we have our versus memory, we have our dim card for Gammon, and of course the vital bracelet itself. So where's the oh the instruction booklet is inside this thing. Alright, I'm not gonna refer to it, I'm just gonna uh, wing it. Huh? So looking at the device, so this is where they probably read the heart rate. What is this? What is this? Switch at the back. That's interesting. Probably we'll have to consult the menu. Um so five volts. Okay, so where's the power button? So I guess this is where the dim card goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it out first. Let's try and turn this on. Which button is the on button? Is it this one? Or do I have to press both at the same time? Okay, so apparently <laughs> I think it has no power, so I might have to go charge it, so I'll be right back after charging this watch. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Uh, apparently the watch was charged, it's just that after consulting the Japanese manual, yes, if you're wondering, yeah, can I read Japanese? Well, technically I could. If you guys have been following my YouTube channel for Utam Across content, you will probably know that I do translations for games. <laughs> Uh, that are in Japanese. So apparently the back switch was the on-off button. So there we go. So it's a pretty nice clear screen. Uh, from the material-wise of the Vital Bracelet, it looks like something that it might get scratched pretty easily. Um, so you might want to consider getting like some kind of a screen protector, that kind of stuff. Uh, luckily enough, the, the seller that sold me the Vital Bracelet gave me a pack of the um, you know, screen protector that it can be used for the vital bracelet so I'm gonna apply that later on um, so yeah that's pretty awesome so now we are being asked to set the date so the top button uh, that has the 5 volts on it so it basically just changes the number so it's 2022 now uh, I don't know if this is the month or date so considering depending on which country you are from okay so this is the month so this we are on May right now Oops, I overshot it. Okay, so five. Today's the let's see. Today's the twenty second. Yes, as you can see, I have my Apple Watch there. <laughs> okay, so twenty second. Yes, so that's the date that I'm recording this video. If you guys are watching, <laughs> so okay, there we go. Oh, the time. So it's now nine o four a.m. So yes. I'm recording all these videos pretty early. So they are going they are going by a 24 hour watch time. So so that's pretty easy. 904, I probably should set it at 905. You know, just give it a one minute head start just in case. Okay. There we go. I don't know. Oh it's 905 already. There we go. Alright, so it's asking us to insert a dim right now, so we're gonna go with the Gamamon dim. Uh, let's see, okay, it's pretty easy to remove and it would, doesn't really damage the card, so for those people who are like card collectors, I guess that's not a bad thing in terms of design, so wait, why is it off? Okay, so there we go, so we're gonna slot the dim in, gotta be careful. There we go. So we are waiting for the Vital Bracelet to read the DIM card and we can have our first Digimon hatched in this thing. Probably need to read the manual on how to turn off the volume for this thing because I don't want it beeping around. <laughs> uh, you know, it'll be kind of uh, annoying, you know, to have all the game sounds while you're traveling around in public, I guess. So yeah, so uh, if you guys are new to the Vital Bracelet scene as well, just like me, apparently there's this uh, application as well where you can actually send your Digimon from the Vital Bracelet to your phone or tablet, wherever your application is on. And of course, you can store multiple Digimons on the application itself and use it to actually do online battling with the rest of the world. So that's pretty awesome. And the application is in English on your devices. What? Oh, okay. So I just have to remove it. Set your vital bracelet on your wrist. Okay, so I'm gonna. So yeah, it's hatching. 
the reading might pulse. And the Digitama is hatching. There we go. That's pretty cool. So yeah. So apparently that uh, with this new Vital V um, bracelet, there is the, of course it has the step counter, then of course there's the exercise meter. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's play around with the options. Status. So apparently the the new version actually shows the English words as well um, for what the icons mean. The old Vital Bracelet, sadly to say, doesn't have that. It's just the, the image there and you have to guess what it does. <laughs> so that's kind of a bad thing. Alright, so let's see. System. So we can set the time again. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Initially, they didn't have words below, so you have no idea what it does. So you just have to guess. Okay, you can actually delete Digimon. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, what else can we do here? Status. So, alright, so we can see the heart rate, your know, steps for the day, return. What else is there? Digimon. So, apparently, okay, uh, so the, the Digimon's names are all in Japanese still, but on the application is in English, so. Um, I have yet to download the application, so I, I really can't show you guys what it actually does. So maybe I'll do that in a future video if you guys are interested to, to learn more about the Vital Bracelet. But the, this thing is now technically kind of like one year old. So um, there are so many countless videos out there about the Dig Digimon Vital Bracelet. I don't think you need me to do it. but. If you guys want me to do it, let me know in the comment section down below. If not, you know, that's probably it. So guys, this is the Vital uh, Bracelet Digimon V or Digivice V version for the Digimon Ghost Game series. What do you guys think? Is this still a viable toy or um, device, you know, for 2020? Are you guys watching the Ghost Game TV series like I am? I have no idea what the versus memory is for, but eventually I'll find out. <laughs> I'm enjoying the TV series, uh, you know, as, as of where I am. I'm currently, I think, on episode 14 or something like that. I'm still halfway through like, what the current amount of episodes are available. You know, being a YouTuber and all this, is there's really not a lot of spare time to do, you know, my usual hobbies aside. Especially now that I'm archiving uh, Utah Macross before the game ends. So yeah, it's it's a really really tough uh, scheduling for you know for myself right now and uh, doing all the YouTubing stuff and you know enjoying my hobbies overall. So yeah, anyway guys, that's it for today's unboxing of the um, Vital Bracelet Digimon. Uh, Digivice V. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of words. A lot. Of, it's a mouthful. <laughs> guys, what do you guys think of the device, the dim cards? There are a lot more other dim cards out there right now. Especially if you are a fan of the Digimon series, there's so many to collect. Uh, it's gonna be a quite a hefty amount of money if you're gonna plan on collecting everything. But for me personally, I'm just gonna buy what I enjoy from the TV series. Uh, you know, just collecting the main Digivices for the main TV series and that's it. Um, I don't know, I might invest in the DIM cards for maybe like the Digimon Tamers set and maybe for the Digimon Adventures, uh, Agumon and Gabumon as well. But probably that might be it unless Bandai release something else that might just entice me to toss my money in. <laughs> anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me yes i you know every video i always say thank you because as a youtuber you probably know um if you guys personally own uh, your own youtube channel as well and doing content you know how important it is uh, to have uh, you know viewerships and of course regular subscribers who actually view your content so it's never enough to say thank you you know, because it really means a lot from the bottom of our hearts as, you know, a YouTuber. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!